I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but the other day I was thinking about a situation that we as a family are facing, and I just became filled with fear. So, like uh, all good church girls, I began to pray, and I prayed some good prayers. I prayed things like, um, God, I know that you're good, and I know that you're faithful, and I know that you want to meet us, so I just choose to trust you right now. I mean, they, they were good prayers but my anxiety did not lift. And then I, I felt one of those still small nudges in my heart and this thought began to form. You're praying out of your fear and not out of faith. So I began to ask myself, okay, what does it look like to pray in faith for this situation? Okay, God, what am I believing you for? And the answer was surprising, it wasn't that I was to believe him for a specific concrete outcome. That would have been quite nice actually. But the answer was this, you are believing in me. You are believing in me and my goodness to be with you no matter what you face and no matter what the outcome is. And then I was immediately reminded of the story of Jesus calming the storm. Let me share it with you. One day, Jesus said to his disciples, let's get in a boat and go to the other side of the lake. So they set sail. And soon Jesus fell asleep. And the wind rose. The fierce wind became a violent storm that threatened to swamp the boat. So the disciples woke Jesus up and said, Master, Master, we're sinking. Don't you care that we're going to drown? And with great authority, Jesus rebuked the howling wind and the surging waves, and instantly they stopped and became as smooth as glass. Then he turned to his disciples and said, Why were you fearful? Have you lost your faith in me? Was shocked and shaken. The disciples said with amazement to one another, Who is this man who has authority over wind and waves that they obey him? Why do you think Jesus asked that question? Why are you fearful? I mean, the disciples were facing a real life danger. I mean, they, they, they knew they, they could die. They had every right to be afraid. But I don't think Jesus was asking them, why are you afraid of the storm? Or why are you afraid even to die? I think he was asking them, why are you afraid of the storm when I am here? You see, they'd forgotten. They'd forgotten that he was with them. Even if he was asleep, he was with them. They had forgotten. In fact, they hadn't even realized that he who has healed lepers, opened the eyes of the blind, fed thousands, set the tormented free. He also has authority over storms. And so they were fearful and they woke him up. And Jesus took the opportunity to teach them the beautiful truth that wherever he is, is the safest place to be. Lord, would you show us would you teach me where in my life, where in our lives have we forgotten? Where in our lives have we lost our faith in you? And would you fix our eyes back on you and off the problems? Amen.